Okay, welcome to part two of this series of 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, part of the nonary games. This is Conquer the Falf, and we're continuing right where we left off. This looks just like the device next to the door in the room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Uh, damn it! Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped under the, her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <laughs> the quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Awkward. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested that she had still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane! Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kuroshiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment... What? What's that voice? This is that guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. What the hell's that?
Just hoping you weren't ruined in the water when the uh, cells cell rooms were flooded. What is he talking about? Not to mention, where would she be keeping it? Doesn't look like she has any pockets. Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. You know, like those two right there, and the one you woke up to... We will call them the Numbered Doors. Hmm. Clever name. <laughs> the doors in front of you are a pair of the same. Okay. The letter uh, said doors, so apparently they weren't expected to find those until just now. What if they found them when they were in their room? They were like, doors? There's only one right here. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. in Majora's Mask, but right now it's a dude. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. Okay, could be 9 a.m. Like, come on, Jinpei. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. Yeah, and it was underwater. That doesn't mean anything. It has to be nighttime. No, it doesn't. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, uh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Huh. <sighs> Whew. 
Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? I wonder if Jim K is ungrateful for his life. No, wait, no, that's Log Series. <laughs> and the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! Wait, don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this Zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No. I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. What happened to B deck now? Don't you mean A through C? It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. This one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. That never works. Why would you even try? Just be glad this isn't soft. It won't budge! Because if it... They did manage to get it open and probably kill them. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. You don't say. It totally looks shabby looking, right? <sighs> Idiots. Try using your brain first. I'm on her side. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? 
Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. You don't say. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. Is that the symbol from the omen? This is an Earth symbol. Hmm. Earth. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Huh. Cool. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Yeah, wouldn't that be a glass dome if this were the Titanic? Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. Yeah, just like he said. I wish we could get out through there. Yeah, even if it was, how would you get up there? Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh, they're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. She's got a good point. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. <laughs> wow, they open into walls. That is such a weird line. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? Yeah, like you said. And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. Yeah, well, what's the other choice? Just sit in those lounge chairs and wait for the nine hours to pass? I think that's pretty crazy, too. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Are you serious? They just wasted half an hour just looking at doors and trying to force them open? Uh. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? <laughs> My question exactly. We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. Well, you know, at least according to Zero, some of these people know about the Nottery game. You could ask about that. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junfei. Like, don't you think that was something that he might have wanted to reveal at his own discretion? We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Yeah. Yeah, Kane. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. 
Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Even John Kramer, the Jigsaw Killer, didn't kidnap random people. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? If he did, wouldn't he have already said that? And on top of that, you're kind of in a position where you have to do something or you're gonna die. <laughs> but we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Alright, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Kinda too late for my character. <laughs> you kinda outed him as Junpei. Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. <laughs> well, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Why don't we all just go by the number on our bracelets then? Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Why aren't you three instead of Santa? Oh, is this is it because in Japan San means three, so three tough? That could be it. Any of you chumps know Japanese? Yeah. No. Well, San means three, so I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? The Santa Claus thing, not so much. But sure, the the San thing makes sense. Well, I'm guessing that means he's supposed to be Japanese. Okay. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. With that white hair, you look older than him. Why are you calling him Grandpa? Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Huh. Maybe he's a gambler. But, uh, yeah, shouldn't he have volunteered to go first because he is one? Uh. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. I didn't know that. Just don't assume things, Lotus. I don't know, do you guys know that Lotuses apparently always have eight petals? Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is. Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Snake. Solid Snake. No, wait. Don't run me. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh, come on. You know he chose that just to bring up that factoid, didn't, didn't he? Like, yeah, snake eyes, because I'm blind. Uh, did I happen to mention I said eyes? <laughs> You can't see? That would explain why his eyes are closed this whole time. Although, that kind of doesn't uh, say much about Brock from Pokemon. Has he been blind this whole time, too? I knew it. You did? Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf Clover. Good luck, right? Uh, sure. Sure. Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Uh, come on, really? You guys all get to choose cool code names and I don't get to? Oh, yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. 
All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. Is that gonna make it a little confusing? You're Junpei, she's Jun. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. <laughs> she didn't even get to So this is how everyone breaks down. Wait a minute, everyone? You kinda left somebody out, didn't you? One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Okay, so she call you me. Six is June. Seven is seven. <laughs> the way he said that. <laughs> and eight is Lotus. Yeah, eight. There are uh, nine of you, so you've left somebody out. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... Well, obviously he's nine. That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh... <laughs> what number are you? Number do you think, Clover? He's nine, clearly. Mm. Unless he's zero, which I doubt. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, what do you say? It's obvious. Hey, he spoke. There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? Yeah, were you paying attention when we all just came up with code names? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. Well, we we all except Jinpei. Jinpei didn't get to come up with a name, and June didn't come up with a uh, code name either, because Jinpei came up with her code name. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. Okay, you gonna go run and jump in the water? You've got some sort of plan? I do. I'm Aquaman, and I'm gonna swim through the water. Yeah? What's that? You sure you wanna know? Well, yeah, I am. Yeah? All right, let me show you. I'm gonna do this! <laughs> Uh-oh. Is he copping the field? Hey! What the he hell is. do you think you're doing? They're a creep. Stay back! Whoa. Ah. Where did you get something like that? If you get any closer, I'll cut her open! Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you alright? Why is he so concerned? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. Your plan? Plan is to kidnap a girl and without anywhere to go, cop a field. She's a little young. Maybe you like her that way. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Yeah, what he said. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. Anything more than you already are. <laughs> if she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. Uh -huh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. Yeah, then what would we all do? We jump you. Especially Jumpy. <laughs> oh, man, that's bad. All I need is your bracelet. 
Just do it! Do it 